Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair, giving you hairstyle inspiration on the way we style and care that are quick and easy to achieve and take minimum effort. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video where I am making yet another crochet wig. So it has been a minute since I've created one and that is pretty much much like my biggest video here on my channel is the crochet wigs that I create um, I've done braids I've done locks I've done twists curls you name it so in this one I'm doing a go-go curls right so I'm moving a little fast because this is pretty much self-explanatory crochet wigs are like so easy to create especially the ones with curls because it's so easy to hide and manipulate the the, the hair and hide the cap that like it's so easy so right here I'm trying to figure out how I want to knot my curls there sometimes I like to use the double knot method which was the first method I went with and this one the second option I'm gonna go with is the invisible knot method where you just take one strand and loop it around two to three times and then tie it tight I, I usually have no problems with the hair unraveling with either one of these knots so it's really your preference for me I went with the second option so I'm just crocheting this sucker right on in moving it right along I just want to show you my first pack of hair that I am doing I want to use Use anywhere between five to six packs of hair because that's usually how much you're going to use on a regular crochet braid hairstyle if you went to get this just crocheted into your braids so you want to have that same thickness um, same fullness that you would if it was a regular crochet braid so I'm gonna go throughout the video showing you each pack of hair that I am using so you can see how well this hair does and I'm not separating the hair at all this the hair is already separated for me I am simply just grabbing tying it on there and pushing it on and it was so easy to use I love the texture of this hair as well this is my first time doing go go curls that's the name of this curl pattern and I love how big and juicy and spiral they are. And I love the color on the tips as well. So this is definitely some nice hair, very inexpensive. And I, of course, will have the link for this hair down below in the description box. It has a nice texture. It gives, like, it's, of course, it's synthetic, but it gives off, like, that human hair texture where it's not super silky. Like, it definitely has a textured feel to it. It does frizz. So definitely be careful when it comes to separating your hair. Um, and if it does get too frizzy, always go in there with some got to be glue. I kind of found that tip on Instagram or TikTok. I'm not sure which girly showed it to me, but it was a great idea. So here we are in pack number two. So this is two packs. I've pretty much filled up the entire back of the crochet wig. And now we're working on the sides and I still have that front part to work on. All right, so I'm finishing up with my five packs here. And as you can see, I have a little bit at the top that still needs to be filled in. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the entire six packs. So it took six packs to fill the entire crochet wig to my likeness and fullness and thickness that I prefer. And of course, since you are creating this for yourself, you can always customize it to your liking. So before I install my wig, I do wanna do a quick makeup tutorial, quick fix up the face real quick. Have I haven't done a makeup tutorial in probably about a year now. I'm, I don't do them often because I do the bare minimum when it comes to my makeup. So I'm going in with this new e.l.f. like power grip primer that I recently purchased and I actually really, really like it. So when it comes to my makeup, I only use concealer. I 
don't really care for the full glam full coverage look again i am bare freaking minimum so i'm going in with the juvia's place concealer and i'm going in with the concealer that is closest to my shade and this is in the shade 12 and then for my contour i go in with the shade 8 i like to go a little bit darker on my contour just because that's how I prefer it and then I smooth it out using or blend it out using a beauty blender and if I have any harsh lines I go in with a buffer brush kind of like a stippling brush to kind of like buff buff and blends everything out and then I go in with another highlight color and this is in the shade 14 also by Juvia's Place and for this one I kind of like stamp in place I don't really blend like with a brush with the lightest concealer because I want it to kind of stay in place once I am done blending that all out I go in with the beauty bakery flower this is a setting powder and I believe it's in banana or it's like the yellow tone one so I go in with that using a brush and then uh, I bronze using the Fenty beauty bronzer and I believe I have the coca mommy mama Co coco some something of that nature I know I'm terrible so then for my blush I go in with the Juvia's Place this is a duo blush palette that they have and I go in with my oranges and pinks those are usually the blush colors that I prefer now I'm going in with a fluffy brush to just kind of blend everything out get that extra powder off of my face and now it's time for my eyeshadow i am a one color eyeshadow bandit okay i will smear one color on my eyes and call it a day so i usually go in with like a smoky effect so i kind of pat it in place first right on my lid and depending on how intense i want it to be i can layer it to make it darker but since this is a daytime look i'm not going to go too dark then i go in with a clean eyeshadow brush and I just blend all that out so it doesn't like a harsh line of eyeshadow on my eyelid and then I'm going to go in with a corner color sometimes I go shimmer sometimes I go matte for this one I'm going matte because lately that's been kind of my thing it just depends on my mood really and that's for my makeup every day it really depends on my mood on how far I want to go with it how intense I want it to look how full glam I want to like it really all depends on my mood so this is how I'm doing it today I may switch it up and do something completely different tomorrow that's just really how I am so I'm going in with some mascara and I use some Maybelline something that I pick up out of the drugstore because I go in with lashes so I'm not particularly crazy about my mascara doing anything out of the way now I'm going in with my Morphe pencil brush and I I just fill in I don't really sculpt as much as I used to do like y'all remember we had concealer on the bottom concealer on the top looking like complete bat wings on our eyes now I kind of go for a more feathered natural look I just fill in where it's really sparse and I go in a little bit harder at the ends of the brow in the front I kind of just go in with my brush to kind of clean it up now I'm going in with my lips. For my lips, I'm using the Minted Lip Pencil, and this is in the color M5. It is a very beautiful neutral brown that literally can go with any color lip gloss or lipstick. So for my lipstick, I'm going in with this Ulta Beauty brand color in the color Volcano. Um, it has this nice matte, but not a drying matte, and I really like a matte look because I feel like it lasts longer than a lip gloss um, and then sometimes if I'm feeling spicy I'll add a lip gloss on top of it so now I'm adding in my lashes and I go in with a half lash because I like my lashes to look as natural as possible I don't like the full volume thick lashes that's just my taste and then I go in with my lash curler to kind of like blend it into my lashes so I'm a, so you can see the difference like you can see one where the strip is completely visible and the other one it kind of just melts into my lashes then I'm going in with my highlight I almost forgot about that and this is by Colourpop and it's a gold like it's real that's literally the only color I use for my highlight I'm pretty basic on that and then I'm going in with my setting spray and this one's by Clinique it's a moisture surge setting spray and in the winter time I am so freaking dry it's ridiculous my skin is flaking and everything so I like to go in with that to kind of help bring back that moisture and shine to my skin versus in the summertime I'm a complete oily mess so anyways moving on to the wig now so I'm installing it and 
as you can see the curls are everywhere so this is where you're just really gonna have to play around with it to fit it to your liking I'm cutting in my bangs now because I want it to have like a nice feathered look for my bangs so to create that feathered look do not use your scissors I'm using the scissors to cut the length to create that feathered look I'm going in with a eyebrow razor um, and this is an eyebrow razor I picked up out of CVS, Dollar General, like literally they're everywhere. Just pick up one and just take your time going in with each little curl. Now by doing this, you don't have like that blunt cut on your bangs that can look just, ugh, okay, just terrible. And I'm just fluffing it out because this hair kind of frizzes like to make it look very natural. Do be careful with the separating of the curls and fluffing it out. I definitely wanted to fluff out the roots the most because I didn't want my crochet wig to be seen. And as you can see, I'm kind of pushing back my wig to kind of see how I want my bangs to lay versus cutting more of the bang because my mood changes on that. Sometimes I want a long bang, sometimes I want a short bang. So I just move the wig and adjust the wig. So so here we are completely finished and all done the wig literally took me 20 minutes to make and 10 minutes to cut and that is it y'all thank you for joining us on another tutorial we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe